Hey guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. Well, I decided I was going to paint the wheel backs with an acrylic color, and I have this zinc color, and I kind of like it, and uh, I'm going to use it. So I'm going to show you how I thin my cheap acrylics to be able to airbrush them. So basically, I meter out how much paint I want, and you really don't need a whole lot. That ought to do. That's probably way too much, but and you can see that color. These are for the Roadrunner. You've seen them before. They are primed and ready to paint. So then I take my Windex, and this is a, just a cheap, cheap version of Windex with ammonia. And I get just about a one-to-one -one mix of Windex and paint. Now I also use water. Some people don't like to use water, but I don't mind using water, especially when it's uh, on the interior. So that's about right, right there. And what you're looking for is just like your other paints, right? You're looking for a milk consistency. So you may have to add or subtract your Windex. And of course, once you mix this up, you're going to really want to let it set so all the air bubbles and stuff go to the surface and, and leave the paint. Now that seems to be a little bit too thin, and it's kind of chunky. You gotta mix it up really, really good. It's not looking too bad. And that's way better. You may have to add more or less Windex to your mix. But I think this is about, about good. All right, I'm going to let this set, and then the next time you see me, we'll be out in the shop getting ready to airbrush this on the wheelbacks. Stick around. All right, guys, so I'm going to be using my Pache VL Double Action for this. And uh, my paint's been sitting, and uh, we're just going to load it up here. Uh, I may or may not have enough paint after... Uh, after all. So you'll notice my makeshift spray booth. It's worked for me pretty well for quite a long time. But uh, I have gone ahead and asked the Jolly Redheaded Elf, aka my wife, for a new spray booth for Christmas. So hopefully uh, she comes through. But anyway, we're going to uh, have a working pressure Oh, about 18 PSI, so I set it around 22, and it drops down to 18 when I spray. And uh, we're going to spray this out and see how it works. Hard to see. It's going on, but it's hard to see.
course you're going to spray light coats and build them up and obviously with acrylics they're going to go uh, you know flat so once they're dry you're going to hit them again this is actually a metallic acrylic so it has a little bit more shine to it than your run of the mill acrylic Doesn't look too bad. You'll notice the top one is a little bit duller than the freshly painted one. So you give them a couple minutes and then you dust on another coat. Again, just like any other thing that you paint with any other kind of paints, you don't load it up right away. <clears throat> you want to uh, build up coats. Now acrylic can be clear coated. You just got to figure out what you want to clear coat it with. Um, 2K seems to work pretty well from what I can see. A lot of guys, you know, use acrylic paints and then they, they uh, clear coat with 2K. 2K seems to uh, work well with uh, acrylic paints. But I've also had Wet Look Clear uh, go over acrylic pretty well. Start on our second coat here. Honestly guys, I still have three quarters of a cup. I don't know if you can see this, so I definitely mixed up enough paint. And this is going on really, really good. So we're building up nice coats and uh, it's looking good and it's laying really good. So I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see this, but it's looking pretty good. 
All right. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and uh, probably put another coat or two on them. And uh, when I come back, we'll be back at the bench. Stick around. All right, guys, we are back inside at the bench. And uh, as you can see, the wheel centers are painted. They are dry to touch. You could work with them right now. But I use Bright Coat Chrome for the outer wheel shell, and that's going to take a little bit more time to, uh, to dry and cure. So we'll leave that alone. And once it's dry, I'm probably going to coat it with the uh, Pledge Revive. Now, for you guys that are poo-pooing that Pledge Revive, I clear-coated these headers for the McLaren with that. And uh, it's nice and durable. You can handle them. And it's working out pretty well. Now, as far as clear coating over Molotow Chrome, I don't know yet because I haven't tested that out. So I'm not really sure about that. I have to test it out for myself to see if it works. But until I can find a, a way to clear coat over Chrome, I'm going to use the Bright Coat with the Pledge Revive. Because I, I've done these with the Bright Coat Chrome. I've clear coated over the bumpers for the Roadrunner. This is the Alclad, and I clear coated over them with the um, Pledge as well. And it seems to be working out. It's pretty durable. So, yeah. I'm thinking it's going to be pretty decent, guys. All right, guys. So, we're going to let these dry, cure up, and uh, we will get these put together. boom just like that by the power of video they're done I'm pretty satisfied with the way they came out I think they look really good I mean after all they are going on my model you don't have to like them <laughs> but yeah they came out pretty good like I told you before these are z-force model works wheels and uh, I found out about z-force through rusty rotors and Jimmy Ledford and no he does not sponsor the channel. I'm just giving him a shout out because he makes a good product. Like I said, I really like the fact that they're two-piece wheels. And uh, I think you can do a, uh, a super job with them being that they're two-piece. You know, it would be a whole lot cleaner going on the car when you're trying to paint them up and stuff. So look them up on uh, Facebook and Instagram. And uh, www.zforcemodelworks with an X dot com put a link in the description all right guys that's all i got for this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you for your likes your comments and your subscriptions and i hope you're having a good evening happy modeling thanks for watching